Okay, so we are uh, the group number five and uh, the title of our proposal is uh, Cartons for Plants. And um, so my name is Matteo and I'm a PhD candidate uh, at uh, the Norwegian University of Science and Technology and a former student in sustainable architecture. Then other members of our group are Henrietta, which is an energy and environmental advisor at Aspen Biak, and uh, as well as me as a former uh, student in sustainable architecture, and uh, Greta, who is studying in management engineering at the University of Padua. So during uh, our months of uh, ride, map, ride map, we work in uh, collaboration with uh, the industrial partner uh, Stura Enso. Uh, that uh, for the ones who are not familiar with it, Stura Enso is a multinational uh, company based in Helsinki, uh, representing the second largest uh, forest uh, industry group in the world and uh, a leading provider of uh, renewable solutions uh, such as packaging, uh, uh, biomaterials, wooden construction and uh, paper. So uh, by discussing uh, uh, with them, uh, we figured out that uh, nowadays uh, there is a too high share of uh, paper products which with high quality fibers that is just lost in the recycling uh, cycle. And uh, one of these products is actually liquid cartons, which has been the focus of uh, our work. And um, it's important to point out that the use of a liquid carton will uh, actually increase in the next year. Is is a phenomenon which is already happening, uh, since it is a trend from many industries to substitute plastic, uh, glass, and metals uh, packaging with uh, paper products. So the question that we ask to ourselves has been: uh, How can we encourage users to recycle more of their uh, liquid carton waste? And the question that uh, we came out uh, with, it, so the answer that we came out with has been uh, to implement, to propose a PANT uh, scheme, such as the one uh, already in place for uh, plastic uh, bottles and uh, aluminum can in uh, many European countries, especially in the Nordics. Uh, so this system works uh, with people that pay uh, an extra fee when they buy these kind of products. And uh, this uh, encourage them to deliver them back in order to have back their money. So it's a really efficient system since it makes people realize that they are buying the product but they are just borrowing the packages in which the product is inside. So as I mentioned before this system for aluminum can, PET and glass is already present in, in, in Europe in 10 countries representing almost the 26% of the European population. And uh, we see that uh, it performs really efficiently. Uh, we have the best performance of return rate in Norway with 97%, while the worst is in Estonia with an 83, which is uh, anyway uh, much, much higher than uh, uh, any other uh, system, uh, not uh, including a reverse vending machine. So, uh, Looking at this, we know that almost 136 million people have already developed a mindset for this solution, making in this way the proposal uh, um, feasible from a community perspective. So in this slide, you can see at the top a simple diagram that uh, represents uh, how can uh, a pen system for a paper product uh, be like. So we have these high quality fiber products such as uh, milk and uh, juice packages. Uh, which will have uh, a sign on them that represents that they can be uh, brought back to this plant machine, which are uh, already present on the territory of these uh, countries uh, where the system is implemented in almost uh, all grocery stores and supermarkets. Then there is a phase of preparation in which the product is uh, compacted and uh, uh, stored. Uh, these products are then uh, taken by uh, uh, facility management that brings it to a recycling facility where new uh, fresh fibers are added to the system in order to produce new uh, recycled uh, paper products. So to underline it again, the objectives of our work uh, has been to keep uh, the high quality fibers uh, from liquid cartons alive longer in the recycling loop and uh, to foster circular economy with uh, a solution uh, that uh, will be able to break the produce, use, disposed linear pattern of uh, liquid packaging. And the solution that we propose is this, uh, uh, about adopting a pan system for liquid cart waste. Uh, so if we jump now to the project strategy, so the passages that we will have to implement for having the solution in place. 
one of the major strength of our proposal is that uh, it uh, builds up on an existing system, uh, making it relatively easy to be implemented in the market. So the first step will be to uh, introduce some changes to these already present machines in order to make them able to, to sort uh, the cartons from uh, the other materials. So there will be changes both in the software and uh, mainly in the software and uh, also maybe something in the hardware. And then uh, the news will have to be advertised. Uh, then there will be, uh, uh, then we will have to start a testing phase with pilot projects in defined location. For defined location, I mean, just uh, maybe few cities uh, or um, defined uh, areas such as neighborhoods. And, uh, and then revise the solution after uh, one year of testing uh, to see what are uh, good and, uh, and bad and what can be corrected. And uh, the, the next step would be then to launch the project on the entire national territories where we have these pilot projects and then expand the projects uh, for uh, all Europe potentially. So I will now uh, leave the words to, to my colleague and yet to continue the presentation. Hi, uh, yeah, so our uh, target uh, customers of uh, the system is uh, whoever buy liquid cartons and customers already use the uh, pad scheme in several countries now, and other countries are planning of implementing such a system. So a uh, positive mindset is already present in a large uh, portion of the population, which already recognize that their actions could contribute to reducing the human footprint. And the target market of this idea is uh, other countries that already has demonstrated its interest in this kind of initiatives. Uh, and there is an increasing trend um, of this expected in the future. And already have forging the delegations went to Norway to understand how this uh, system could be uh, implemented in countries that don't have uh, plant system already. And when we talk about innovativeness in this uh, project, it's not uh, innovative in the sense of how the system works, since the plant system is already uh, well working in many countries. Uh, but we see this as an opportunity to uh, easier uh, implement the system and make, uh, like, handle the problem of. Uh, paper waste faster since it's some just some um, adjustments to the pump machines and the packaging that is uh, necessary to uh, to to start using the system and the business opportunity is um, to uh, offer a solution that keeps the litter off the streets and reduces the need of other expensive waste programs next slide Mateo. So when we look at the technical feasibility of the project, uh, the system of PANT, as already mentioned, is already a uh, well-developed technology in at least Scandinavian countries. And the sorting system in the machines are based on reading the barcode of products and dividing them between plastic bottles and aluminum cans. And our idea is to uh, widen the scope of this system and make the machines able to sort of out the liquid cartons as well. And so we want to just uh, widen the scope on the machines that already exist and hopefully not have to uh, create new machines. So the technology is already well developed and uh, we see the, this as an extension to the system today. That's why we consider this uh, technology with a readiness level in the area between level five and six. Um, it also yields space and logistics savings and as the materials are compact and reducing the storage requirements in stores and on the uh, trucks when transporting. So we also looked into the benefits and impacts of our idea uh, by implementing the system. The recycling rate of liquid cartons could increase further 
This could give both the economical and sustainable benefits by reducing the need of raw materials for products that could use recycled fi fibers instead. And even if the recycling rate for liquid cartons are already high in countries as Norway and Sweden, if we compare to other countries in Europe, such as Italy, uh, the implement implementation of this method could uh, elevate it even more and bring it up to 90% as it's happened for plastic bottles and aluminum cans. Uh, the indirect benefits of this initiative appears in many different levels and the change in user behavior could improve to have a higher respect of the environment and there could be an incentive to always incorporate sustainable solutions in every field. Another indirect benefit is that the shops that have these machines could have an uh, increased number of customers. And there is also a long-term solution because cartons are lightweighted packages and therefore um, they could have a, have a lower uh, carbon footprint. And yeah. So when we looked at the project consortium, um, we uh, wanted to have two pilot projects, one in Sweden and one in Norway, where the uh, mindset of uh, recycling already strong. And in the consortium in Sweden, we wanted to consist of KTH, indus our industrial partner Sturenso, the organization Pantamera, and the cooperative Arla. And in Norway, we will have a similar uh, consortium, uh, consists of NTNU, uh, Norske Skog, Infinitum, and Tina. Next. Yeah, so Stora and so Norske Skog are both uh, companies that use recycled fibers in their productions, and they can have valuable information on how the recycled fibers could be used in the next stage of their life. And Pantamera and Infinitum are the two organizations in Norway and Sweden that handles the hunting, uh, and they have experience in the lo logistics and the impacts on user behavior. Uh, and in addition to this, uh, the need of uh, location have for the pen machines needs to be organized uh, and the logistics uh, around the waste management for collection of the pen products. We also want to include Tina and Arla, which is two main cooperatives in Norway and Sweden. And their main business are direct products. And they are already investigating how to use more sustainable packaging and switching some of their products from plastics to uh, cartons. Uh, they are close on the customers and they already get feedback on how their products work. So that's why we think they could have a, a role in our two consortiums. Yeah, thanks. Okay. okay. In for what concerns the budget uh, at this uh, preliminary stage, um, for us it's impossible to predict uh, a certain amount of costs or revenues. In particular, the system involves governments who impose an environment tax on producers, so that uh, the more they recycle, the more the tax is reduced. And the, if the recycle is higher than 95%, then the producers uh, uh, do not have to pay taxes. And this is uh, in this way, um, producers um, have the pressure, all the pressure, not the consumers. Furthermore, um, we believe that the main sources of cost would be the machines, but since they are already existing and working, um, it's hard to um, count and identify the right amount of money needed for the adjustment. And likewise, the logistic infrastructure is also uh, well developed and integrated. So uh, it would require just some adjustments in terms of number of rides and the management of the shipping. Uh, like I said, revenues cannot be quantified either. So, uh, but it's undoubtedly that the benefit goes beyond the economical level. In fact, when uh, people return the product, they can also uh, donate the money to a charity. So it has also a social impact. 
On the other hand, we will be able to identify the main risks. And in particular, we divide them in three levels, uh, where the red one has the worst consequences for our project. Uh, and it is a, a lower rate of recycling, which uh, wanna avoid by intensifying the environment and uh, by increasing the number of machines in order to be more present and to encourage people to recycle. Other two risks that are um, worth mentioning are the broken of the machine, which we want to um, overcome by using predictive maintenance and the warehouse management that is due to the uh, increasing number of products. So eventually we already uh, see that some companies, next slide, um, has transitioning from plastic to uh, fiber cartoons and that makes this solution even more relevant for the future because the number of cartoons is expected to grow significantly. And as the climate clock in the picture uh, show and as a reminder that we really need the drastic change from a linear to a circular um, economy. Uh, eventually, in conclusion, we, um, we identify the four main reasons why uh, EIT should uh, fund this project. And the first one, besides raising awareness, uh, it has uh, been estimated that 1,000 tons of drinking cartoon reuse corresponds to a possible save of 684 tons of CO2. Um, another important reason is that solution based on reverse machines, such as the pump one, um, have demonstrated that uh, they have a return rate from 70 to almost 100 percent of the sold contained beverages. So that uh, is what makes pump very efficient. Another important reason is that the, um, the, the recycled fiber could be used in everyday products such as tissue paper, office paper, non-packaged food, but also in some innovative fields, such as the construction uh, as insulation panels. And last but not least, um, this is definitely a long-term solution because it's easy, fast, and economically safe, we can say, because of the available infrastructure. We want to thank you for your attention.